Damn it. We all Where's wish. the magic viral button? I can't see it. I know. I'm hiding <laughs> it. Hi, my name is Meg, and I'm one of the partner managers here at YouTube. So I work with different creators on the platform to help them with, you know, what's going on with their analytics, the content decisions, and sometimes helping with some technical issues. And I'm going to be doing a channel checkup today. I am here today with an amazing creator, Riyadh. So can you tell us more about yourself and like what your channel's about and yeah. who you are? Um, so my channel started way, way, way back in the day. Um, it never really had a very succinct direction. So there was a bit of celebrity interviews, a bit of comedy, a bit of serious stuff, LGBT issues, documentary. It's been an amazing journey, but what I really, really want from the channel now is to just slam it together, make it concise, make it a really, really strong brand. I want to focus on this notion that you've had some successes in the past, see what's going to carry over once we look at it for like this rebirth and coming up with a new plan to just like really energize the channel. I'm excited. Sound good? Yeah. So what do you know about analytics? If I'm perfectly honest, the analytics part of my channel scares me a bit. And I don't want to be scared by it. I want to learn by it. All right, so we're in here because we want to look at what videos have been working for your channel well in the past. Right. And cases like yours, where you were active in a certain time period prior, it's important to actually go and learn about what was working then. So we're going to look at a two year period of your channel. And I picked this because you did have some peaks in there. But the consistency of uploads to me seemed pretty like you were somewhat keeping a pace. Right. And so that's one of the things you're going to really want to think about when you kind of bring life back to your channel is what is your upload schedule going to be? And you are far better off to start with one video a week, one video every other week and be consistent and build. Okay. Versus like going full hog and like. For like one month and then nothing. Yeah. And you're like one video Monday through, you know, through Friday, like what's up, Sub like subscribe. And then it's like crickets. Right. Okay. Because then it's like, is he on or is he off again? Let's now dig into your top videos. Is this surprising what videos are still standing out? No. Okay. It's not surprising to me. And honestly, this is good because it's going to give you foundation if you want to curve and change the channel. How much of a shift are you thinking about doing? The vision I have in my head for what I want this channel to look like this year is something that I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really exciting, but also really, really terrifying because there's no kind of guidebook. Yeah. But, you know. But we're going to use analytics yeah, a little bit more today to as a guidebook. Yeah, right. no, for sure. But I think even, you know, and this is a good homework lesson for you, is to dig down into the lower part of this top 50 videos and still see what's standing out and be able to pick out format types that you think can translate into kind of this new format you're going to create. Okay, so you, you want me to check out the videos that are performing less? So this is all top 50, right? Okay. Maybe even just look at like videos 10 through 20 or 10 through 30, right? Okay. And be like, okay, kind of where does the scatter fall? What are viewers checking out? And what can I take out of all of this? And again, be ready to be consistent when you launch again and be true to what the channel was and then brush it up and bring it up to this next level. Yeah. This is it. It's all about taking it to a next level while still keeping the heart yeah. of what it is. Yeah. Because if I start like throwing stuff on the channel that is great, but completely different. Still unsubscribe. I, they'll be like, who is Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. who's this dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of the bigger viral videos from back in the day are, yeah. they're like two, three, four minutes long max. Because I think that was the trendy thing back then. Bite size. Yeah, quick hit. Ah, yeah. Ha, 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 or cry and then yeah. gone. Yep. Uh, like it's longer now, right? It really depends on format. Okay. You'll be able to see with audience retention. So you can kind of see like, oh, are the short ones doing really well for okay. me? Are the longer ones doing really well for me? And you can go in and explore that through analytics. I think it's about probably making the video as long as it needs to be. So if it's five minutes and it's a great five minutes, there's no need for it to be seven minutes. 
thinking about this channel, resurgence and rebirth, you know, you're gonna really wanna think about like being consistent right. and how you're gonna bring your audience on that journey with you. So asking them what they want to see. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a perfect way. So, you know, telling them early and often that things are gonna be changing, um, but then also reach out. You know, we have the community tab now. Yeah. I don't know if you've used it much. I haven't yet, no, but I want to. <laughs> yeah, it's great because like the poll section especially, you know, you are tapping into the audience you know is on the platform. And a lot of the time up until now, I know I have and my friends have, we've been relying on other media platforms mm -hmm. online to do these polls, to ask these questions, to get these, uh, to get this information in. So it's great to use the mother platform <laughs> that we know and love. With using community and um, reaching out and asking your audience there, you're bringing them on the journey and you're getting real time feedback, which you should always probably take with a grain of salt. <laughs> but then you can come back and you can check what they're saying against your analytics. Okay. And it might also help suss out who was here for the hot viral hits and who's here for you and your brand and is really connected with you. And that's who you're gonna wanna tap into. So we're gonna go into reach viewers. Right. And this is a, a kind of the category of how people are finding your content. Okay. You've got the video titles, but this is gonna tell you, are you coming up from a lot of suggested views? your traffic sources, like this is how people are searching for you. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the, the top thing yeah. is vagina. <laughs> yeah. That is incredible. Yes. Vagina. I don't even have one. <laughs> I think that's amazing. Well, they're looking for it because of the sex education video there yeah. on the channel. But like that in of itself, like you having that discovery is so important to like learning another side of how your channel functions on the platform. Mm. So that when you're planning to do your kind of mild pivot, you know, let's mm. say like a 30 degree turn. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to lose oversight of how people search for you now and find you now. Okay. Once you get up and you're consistent, and by being consistent, that kind of eliminates an X factor for like really understanding what's happening with your new content you're going to make, you can do a little bit of testing. You know, because you don't want to ever do a new content type just once. You want to give it a little breathing room mm. um, and maybe try it two or three times so you really know if a format's sticking or not sticking. Okay. And then you can come back to your analytics and you can be like, okay, you know, under reach viewers, did, how were the impressions, views, and watch time minutes for this? What was the click through rate? The impressions, that's YouTube's algorithmic decision making, right? You know, on home, subscription speed, suggested videos, search, right, and discovery pages, your thumbnails will appear. Okay. That's where we count your impressions. Okay, so an impression is it's just, it's seen. Yes. It counts as one. Yes. Done. Just make this a part of your routine. Mm. And if it's really, really scary, at minimum, I'm gonna prescribe you once a month. Ideally, I'd like to see you in here once a week. Okay. But there is a healthy mental balance of getting too caught up in the analytics. Because it would drive you mad. It you, will, yeah, it will. If you look at it too much and you're, you're second guessing yourself and your decisions and. It is yeah. a tool to help reflect back what's happening on your channel. Okay. So as we're kind of wrapping up, you know, what what are you going to be thinking in the back of your mind when you sit down to like really decide what what the strategy is? Yeah, the next coming, the of renaissance your of yes, reality. Okay. Exactly. Um, I consistency. You okay. Know, I need to treat this channel like it is a radio station, a podcast, a, a TV show. It's got to have a time. Mm -hmm. It's got to have its moment. It's got to be. It's got to be religious almost. Um, I also want to make sure that I'm energizing my audience to tell me what they want. You know, they're there. They have an opinion. Why don't I ask them? I want to use that community tab. I want to poll them. I want to. I want to really find out how I can feed them the good stuff. Um, what are you going to be doing in these analytics? Okay, again there, again there. <laughs> I am totally, I promise you, I will be going in to the analytics. Yes. It's going to happen. I'm going to go in once a week, once every two weeks. Good. No less than that. And I'm going to look at it with a broad view um, and not be scared yes. by them. But yes. um, I'm going to learn from them and ask, that performed well, that didn't perform well, why? Mm -hmm. And take the good from that. Good. Good. Yes. I'm excited for I'm you. Excited. Thank you so much. Oh, of course. Thank you. No, it, I feel really motivated now. And I feel like, you know, I know why this is my home. This is why this is the platform I chose. It's because 
when it when it's good, my God, it's good. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And thanks everyone at home for watching and following along. Make sure you subscribe to see more of these channel checkups and comment below what was interesting today. Like, what did you learn? What are you gonna go check out in your analytics? And with that, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.